Alrighty, um, I've sanded the wood after putting a second coat of paint on and um, letting it dry thoroughly. I'm gonna use some Mod Podge matte um, sealer as my glue um, and a finish. So I'm gonna pour a little bit in this bowl here. This is kind of gunky, but it'll work. All right, and I'm using a foam brush to apply the um, pieces on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start right here in the middle. Um, you can start wherever you want. I have my pieces all cut um, and they are um, they're ready. And then you're gonna do a light coat over the top just to make sure that that's secured and that there's plenty of glue. And this should dry really clear, all right? Um, and I'm gonna to continue to remove pieces. Let's see, it goes right here. I'm gonna leave a little bit of a break between so my grout, which is the gray paint, will show through. All right, you don't need a whole lot of uh, Mod Podge in there, but you just need enough to cover it. And actually, find my tweezers. I made a mistake. Okay, this piece is going to go. I can get it lifted up. I don't know. Nope, I guess we're gonna let it go. This one's gonna go right up here. And any excess that hangs over the edge will trim with a craft knife after everything is dried. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and go up into that corner. I'm leaving the um, thing basically intact. Yeah, about right there. I'll leave that. Anyway, and you'll just continue this until you fill the entire shape. So I'm gonna leave you right there and I'll come back when this is done. Okay, the first coat of Mod Podge is on. And let me go in just a little bit closer so you can see. It's still wet and no trimming has been done, but it is filled pretty much filled to shape, all right? And it kind of looks right now like broken glass or broken ceramics, so that's what we were looking for.